Honorable Member for St. John South, Mount Pearl. Mr. Speaker, what Newfoundland inshore fishermen and their families need to hear is a commitment to protecting their livelihood. Everyone agrees that the shrimp stock needs to be responsibly managed, but what DFO is proposing fails to do that and unfairly targets the inshore sector. And it's not just fishermen and their families who will take a hit, it's also local processing plants that are supplied by their shrimp catch. Mr. Speaker, will the minister commit to working with inshore fishermen to protect their industry, to protect what little they have left? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I said, these are not easy decisions when stocks are in decline, but what is of much concern is the longer-term impacts of the changes uh, that are taking place in the ecosystem and their effects on shrimp, crab, ground fish, and other stocks, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I'll give you an example on this fishery. In Area 6, for example, back in 1998, the offshore had a, a quota of 13,360 tons. Today, they have one ton less. The inshore had a quota of 29,840 tons. Today, they have an increase. They have an quota of 31,360 tons, more than they had back in 1998. The Honourable